Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to your love reading for early November 2023. I know it's been a while. Thank you for tuning in. Um, let's get straight into your reading. What I'm seeing is you're quite impenetrable at the moment. <laughs> We've got the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. It's like no one's getting in. You could be a little bit defensive right now, keeping people at arm's length. It's like you've got your heart under lock and key. Someone could have really hurt you in the recent past. They could have really uh, surprised you uh, because you usually get, get a good read on people. And this person could have really um, done a number on you. I did see the King of Swords in the reverse position, which is someone toxic. Someone who gaslights, manipulates, you know, all of the above. Let's see. So, hmm. Why the Seven of Wands and the Four of Pentacles, please, Spirit? Show me why. Why is this Aquarius's energy right now, please? It's like, do not pass, go. Do not enter. That's what I'm hearing. We have the Hierophant in the reverse. Um, you know, this can be divorce or something that feels like a divorce. Okay. Angels and Spirit, please show me. And maybe you, you've called into a question the whole point of commitment. You know, and there's that lock and key. You know, you've got the keys featuring in the Hierophant card. So it's like your heart is under lock and, and key. And, you know, he's holding a staff. I don't know if he normally holds a staff. But in this particular deck, he is, and it's kind of like this weapon that this man in the Seven of Wands is holding. So it's like you're armed and ready, and if anyone tries anything on you, they'll be feeling your wrath. Okay? It's like your, um, you, your, your faith has been a little bit shaken. When it comes to love, we have the lovers in the reverse and we have the knight of wands in the reverse. If someone has exited your life and now it, and it, the whole process is called into question um, love for you. So I don't know what's gone down, but um, something pretty big. Show me the recent past for Aquarius. What happened in the recent past for Aquarius, please? happened in the recent past for Aquarius in love? What happened in the recent past for Aquarius? Someone obviously betrayed your trust. We have the fool in the reverse. Maybe they took you as a fool. They humiliated you, insulted your intelligence. And there's a part of you that's like, where did I go wrong? And I'm hearing that Sinead O'Connor lyric. Where did I go wrong? Um, yeah, there's a lot of self-reflection here. And we've got the Six of Cups. That's nostalgia. You're really dwelling on the past. You're, you're really thinking, what could I have done to prevent this? We have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone could have tried to take what wasn't theirs what didn't belong to them that's why i'm kind of feeling that seven of wands energy maybe you had to defend what was yours maybe you had to fight for your belongings your money maybe someone tried to swindle you out of your money is this king of pentacles please if they didn't they were just um not who you thought they were Yeah, hanged man. You're really trying to figure it out. Um, you know, you're trying to gain perspective here. And this kind of turned your world upside down. Yeah, I keep seeing the seven of wands. There was one big fight that you had on your hands. Let's see what the current energies are, please, Spirit. So that was your recent past. Let's see what's currently going on. Your Eight of Cups. You're, you're moving away from that situation. Yeah, and you're, you're on, 
a mission to move towards something more fulfilling, something that actually is your happily ever after, not um, an illusion. You know, maybe you're finding it hard to forgive the fact that, you know, with this moon card in the Eight of Cups, someone could have uh, created an, had an illusion of themselves and the relationship, and you were laboring under that illusion for a long time. So now you're actually free to go in, to go off in search of something more fulfilling, someone who can meet your emotional needs, someone who can be present for you. Queen of Swords, you've got strong boundaries though. You might need to soften your approach a little bit because I do see, you know, people find you very attractive. We have the Page of Wands and next to the Ace of Wands. There could be people who desire you, but you're coming across as the Ice Queen right now, or the Ice King. Alright, so you might need to kind of let down your guard slightly. <laughs> Let's have a look at your advice. Yeah. You've got growth is getting clear, very clear on the ways that you block your own blessings. Right now you're blocking your own blessings by being defensive. You might be anticipating people um, hurting you again, just like the last one. But remember, you know, don't put everyone in the same category. Um, you don't have to go through all of that again. So get clear on the ways you block your own blessings. I feel like it, at the moment it's defensiveness. Angels and Spirit, please show me what is the message for Aquarius in love in early November. Yeah, I definitely feel deception from your past and it's caused some major trust issues for you. Spirit is saying, you know, sometimes it helps to um, see it from the other person's perspective, not in the way that gives them an excuse for the way they treated you, but, um, you know, in an effort to understand how it happened. And that can alleviate you blaming yourself and things like that. Spirit is saying a lie is a sign of fear. And it's also a means of control. So your past person attempted to control you by being dishonest, withholding or distorting the truth in order to control or have an impact on how you were able to behave or respond to them. Okay. So you're finding it hard to forgive that this person at one point had you wrapped around their little finger and they were getting away with something really shady. And you never want that to happen again. They flew under the radar is what it feels like. They're saying heal yourself by giving what you're wanting from another person. Um, and you might not be ready to confront the truth that you're wanting love, that you're wanting something from someone because you, you, you've got your walls up. Um, but it's still there in your energy. So you want more respect from people. You need to start respecting yourself more. You want care from people. You're going to need to practice self-care in order to open the door for others to give it to you. If you're going to close off your heart to protect yourself from, you know, um, potential hurt, then other people are going to be closed off to you as well. You're going to need to heal that defensiveness and those trust issues. That's how you're going to move past your old heartbreak. That's what the, the challenge is, moving past old heartbreak and then spirit is saying try praying for something with all of your heart and soul and then don't do anything else and when you least expect it the thing that you've been praying for will come to you from nowhere it could be healing it could be just wanting to move past a really dark chapter of your life you you could want closure you could want peace whatever it is that you want try praying for it with all of your heart you could want respect, you know, a relationship that where there's mutual respect. Um, where you have similar lifestyles, where you can have fun together and laugh. So something to think about. Let's 
to get some more advice. I'm going to use this one. Yeah. Um, some travel or changing up your surroundings would be beneficial for you right now. I do see you needing a bit of a breather, needing to take time away from the idea of love. Um, freedom at the moment is your gateway to happiness. Okay. And instead of being defensive and keeping people at bay, um, Spirit is saying, just work on your life, make it how you want it to be, you know, um, rebuild and make the lifestyle that you want. If you want more fun, bring more fun into your life. Um, if you want more passion, find a way to bring in more passion. Create what you want. This is this card. It says, create the daydream effect to make someone else feel like they've found gold. So cultivate a desirable image that will make someone feel it's, it's hard to achieve. Um, this will help them fantasize and daydream about the potential, potential of a relationship with you. At the moment... Um, you're not able to create that effect with someone because you just have too many walls up, right? You've got to stand your ground. I feel like that's what you already are doing. Um, but you are not going to be um, <laughs> letting just anyone in after what you've been through. Uh, now you're valuing yourself more. You're clearly communicating your boundaries and you're defending what matters to you, which is good. This is good. This is progress, but careful not to err on the side of too many boundaries, too many defenses. <laughs> Look, it just keeps coming up. But don't overcorrect, okay? Don't want to overcorrect. Just because someone betrayed you and, um, you know, let you down, seriously let you down, it doesn't mean like that, that that's going to continue repeating itself. Yeah, so obviously you're healing from heartbreak. You've got the Apash Tears. Let's have a look at that. It's kind of like the Five of Cups energy. Um, and it's saying, often our purpose starts to reveal itself in times of rejection. As the universe whispers, you will see this through a different set of eyes one day, I promise. Know that the universe is allying with you, even now, eagerly supporting you in your opening to the fulfillment and joy that you were born to feel. When this card appears, it's calling for you to recognize that losses and even betrayals come bearing unexpected gifts. They can break your heart open and send you on a mission to live more fully, more lovingly, more meaningfully. Much goodness is coming your way, so hold on and hold fast to the truth that you have a destiny unfolding before you. Recognize the conscious universe as your ally in co-creating something so much better than what you're experiencing now. And come to think of it, you know, the other person was the Eight of Cups. There was always something missing there. And you're headed towards the Ten of Cups, right? So now the only thing that you need to do is clear space. Release the past and wash away the old with your tears because you do not need to hold on to old emotions. And a really helpful spiritual practice is the ancient Hawaiian healing method of Ho'oponopono. It really helps you to reprogram and clear all of those negative experiences and memories um, so that they don't color what you can experience in the present and in the future. So... I really hope that that was helpful. Um, I don't even want to enter into what this person would say to you because I feel like the focus now should be releasing them all together, getting into a better energy, um, transmuting the pain by doing something constructive with it, doing something creative with it. Um, and then you will raise your energetic vibration and your point of attraction and you can expect something much, much better than what came before. Trust me on that. I hope this reading was helpful and I will see you guys again soon. Bye Aquarius.